All right, it's a show that gives you an inside perspective on tense rescue missions alongside EMTs, paramedics, and firefighters. We're talking about live rescue. Take a look at this clip. I'm going to support your head. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Who hit me? We'll figure that out, all right? Let me get you out. That's the priority is getting you out okay. I was driving straight. You're doing great. I was driving straight. Put a neck brace on you right now. All right, just uh, for cautionary measures. We got a no neck right here. Oh, yeah, no neck. No neck could be better. Come on, baby. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, baby. You're doing great, bud. Yeah. What's your yeah. name? Aaron. Aaron? Aaron, yep. Renario Aaron. Right. Born. Hmm. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Matt Eisman hosts this nail-biting show. He's telling us about the new season ahead of National First Responders Day. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure. All right, first, uh, Matt, before we begin, I just need to thank you because I am now the owner of a man's crop top, thanks to you, uh, as you exhibited it on one of the talk shows about <laughs> back in 2018. So oh, I yeah. wear it all the time. One of Thank my you. finest moments. Scott, that's a way to make your parents <laughs> proud. Wear the crop top. And it was their 55th wedding anniversary that day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You they, know, my parents are very proud of me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, when it comes to live rescue, how have things changed with the pandemic? Because, you know, people are really hungry for live TV, but a lot of crews haven't been able to get together. How is it now? Well, it has certainly changed for me and my co-hosts because normally we would do the show from New York. Every week I was fly. I live in L.A. I would fly out to New York and we would host the show based in New York following departments around the country. During the pandemic, there was no traveling to New York. So I'd set up a studio in, in my uh, guest bedroom as my co-hosts did. So we're broadcasting remotely. But for the first responders, they don't get days off. Right. They don't they can't work remotely. During this whole pandemic, first responders have been showing up because accidents still happen. People still get sick and they're doing jobs where they are placing their lives on the line. And now dealing with this pandemic and particularly in the early stages when they didn't know exactly how COVID was spread, how how viral it was. Um, it, it's just been amazing, I think, to see these people who still showed up every day for work, who still went in where others would run away. And that's what I love about the show is we get to put a face on these first responders because, you know, we often we, we, of course, appreciate our firefighters or paramedics or first responders or police. But you often just think of the uniform and, and this show puts a face to it and you start to know them and realize, hey, these are people who have lives. They have families. They go home at the end of the day. They, they are ordinary people who choose to do an extraordinary job. Matt, I the how does it work do you set up a camera at nine o'clock on a friday night and let it go and hope something happens or you you're filming for the whole week and then you take the best of the, the you know the best of the the app this this season so we do we will we will ride with departments three or four days a week and just if anything remarkable happens but friday nights we go live and we are in 10 to 12 departments around the country and we just go to wherever the action is. And sometimes we'll show some of the packages if there's some extraordinary rescues that we wanna share with people. But for the most part, we are live. And so we are sitting there, I'm in my studio and we are getting the feeds at the same time everyone at home is watching it. So there's, there's, we have put a little bit of a delay in because we are working remotely and sometimes the internet isn't bulletproof. We, <laughs> we really have had to figure out technologically, it's been a real challenge having us all spread across the country doing this, but it's been amazing that we pulled it together. But obviously even more amazing is that these first responders are still going out there and you know dealing with we had someone in Patterson last weekend where someone was used as a human shield in the shooting oh, and God. then the you know within an hour they were dealing with the house fire the same those same first responders and when you think about this is what they do for 8 to 12 hours on a shift 3 to 4 days a week week in and week out and imagine the the grueling stress that they deal with and add that pandemic on top of it it's amazing uh, that, that people can do this job. They, they truly are a breed apart. Yeah. Well, I also you are a little bit of a breed apart because <laughs> we were just reading your background. I mean, what a life. You used to be a doctor. You went to Princeton and you went to Columbia and then you said, OK, I'm going to go to Hollywood. <laughs> 
Yeah, typical career path. That so, and and again, another way to make your parents proud. You go two Ivy League degrees, become a doctor, and then quit to do entertainment. But uh, it's nice that I've got to bring it full circle to have my medical background. And look, for me, I, medicine was a perfect job on paper, but you don't live your life on paper, and it it really is a calling. And it was something that I felt I just it wasn't deep inside of me to to be a doctor. And that's when I kind of took a chance and and found uh, found entertainment and now it's it's come full circle with this and it's it is gratifying I think to to be a part of a show where I do have some sense of having been in the hospital having been in the ER having been in life or death situations and just recalling how visceral yeah. it is how everything slows down and how you you feel the 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 weight the momentousness of every decision and to imagine that these first responders are doing it but they're not in the hospital with with the latest technology technology and equipment very often they are out you know with a bag over their shoulder because a car has rolled 70 feet down a ravine and it's just amazing to watch them pull these people out of the jaws of death time and again and give them give them the gift of life yeah. It, it, yeah. it's truly a life or death situation that we often see on the show and you know those highs have to be so high but you know very often Unfortunately, they they have to deal with the lows as well, and and it's just remarkable that these people can do this job day in and day out and do it for you know we have some right. people who've worked 25, like 30 so years sorry. on the department, and it just takes such pride. Matt, that thank you so much. We wish we could spend more time with you. Unfortunately, no. we're out of time. We want to wish you the much continued no. yeah. success. Have a great thank great you guys. day. Thanks, Matt. And again, you can watch Rescue Live, uh, Rescue, Live Rescue Fridays at 9 p.m. on A&E. That's right. A great show, right? All right.